Some people might say, Anomaly, he's anti-establishment, what's he doing at a TPUSA event? Uh, you want to tell us how it was and how you got involved in that? Yeah, so I, uh, I was visiting my father on the east coast of uh, America for his 60th birthday, and I had contacted a few podcasts that I've been putting off, and I tried to do like a whole schedule because I don't like to fly back from California you know, like it's such a long flight. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, while I'm there, let me get some stuff done. And I looked and people were talking about it. And I was like, wow, it lines up with TPUSA. So, you know, it would be nice to go there and network and talk to people. So at first they were happy I was going. And then I got a call, almost like red flag laws. I had red flag tweets and they saw that I was oh you know, challenging yeah. TPUSA and Charlie Kirk and telling people to boot Ted Cruz at their event. So I almost got banned, uh, and then I told him, I said, I'm not going to spread problems, but I'm a conservative who disagrees with certain things. They decided to let me in, which was smart, because I would have been a PR nightmare if they didn't, and it ended <laughs> up being great. I did a lot of interviews, I met a lot of people. I met like Marjorie Taylor Greene, Lauren Boebert, they said they were a fan of what I'm doing. Uh, I got to really like see a lot of like uh, companies and stuff for the conservative side, so Overall, I think, uh, you know, I, I went with a journalist pass, like I'm a news source, even though I almost got banned. And yeah, I don't agree with everything that people are doing, but I'm not I'm not a hater. I'm not like, a, you know, somebody who's trying to hurt anybody or cause a scene. It's just I believe this conservative movement in America is a little too weak and we need to challenge each other. And, uh, you know, it was a great experience. I met a lot of great people, a lot of good conversation. Of course, a lot of the speakers, some of them were great. Some of them were like just whatever politicians but um turned out to be awesome and i'm glad i went because i would never know that so many high profile people are watching my stuff and they like me because a lot of these establishment people will act like uh i'm such a bad guy or something but um you know and and to tpsa's credit they do a lot of great work and you know i'm not i'm not here trying to take any real estate from what they're doing i hope they make a lot of money and do well it's just this idea that for a long time you know people don't want to challenge certain ideas but i do think tpusa is starting to do that and i do think the base is ready you know there's a new sheriff in town and uh you know people are ready for a little bit of change so i it, it was a great experience and uh i'm a pretty friendly guy i mean i know a lot of people think i, I'm, I wouldn't be but I, I was going to hang out network and chat with people not like rain on their parade I don't think anyone thinks that you're an unfriendly guy, but no, it's good to hear that side of the story. And I think Charlie Kirk unleashed himself a little bit with, with the vaccine stuff. I was surprised when he came out on his podcast and started being completely against the vaccine um, in a in a good way. I was surprised. I didn't think that he was going to go down that road, but he did. But again, right. there's to this day, a hundred million people in the U.S. who are unvaccinated. So there's still like there's still a lot of people out there who want to hear um, that side of the story, that point of view. And I think it's... Really, only, I wanted to say, too, I yeah. think only 32% of people in America got the booster shot. Yeah, so I was like, about to say that. The majority that. of people rejected the booster. You know, that's an interesting sign. And yeah, good. I think Charlie Kirk deserves to be praised, you know, when he does good stuff. And uh, I think he has stepped up over the last year or two. He's pretty young, too, you know? Mm -hmm. it's uh, He got a big position at an early age, so it's it's a tough it's a tough deal to do at any age, let alone, like, how young he is.